What up, YouTube and all my Riker Riders out there? Uh, another transformation coming in 2021. No, this is 2022 Can Am Riker. So, I already did the lights for this Riker. It should light up. See? Already did the lights. Now we're going to transform this bad boy. And here's the wrap. This is the, this is the color scheme he's going with. I'm not going to go through the, all the particulars on wrapping a Riker because I have so many videos out on it. I'm going to just show you some before and after and some clips and just a little tips and tricks because I've done enough later. Uh, keep watching. Like, subscribe, and follow and all that cool stuff. You with so far? Not that much heat applied. Little bit pushing out the bubbles. This is a different wrap from the few wraps that I put on. Uh, this might be the fourth different company that I put on. Uh, when it's done, I'll give you a full evaluation on what I feel that, about this wrap. All right, so I'm finishing up this wrap, but there's some things that I don't like about the wrap from this company. Um, one, and I'm gonna show it to you right now. If they cut the wrap on a white vinyl background, you're gonna get these little white lines from where they cut the vinyl. See them? So that's another, one of the things I don't like. Two, it's not a complete kit. So you get them online, from these companies and there's nothing for the swing arm there's nothing for the front grill so you have to look at the kit when you order it to make sure everything that you want to cover to cover or I guess I don't know cheaper less vinyl material it's a good vinyl don't get me wrong, it's very thick, very good quality, bends good, but it's like incomplete for me. So, let me finish doing some more. So, we're going to try to put these DS-18s on this Can-Am. But, I think these, are, these might be 10 inches, so I'm not sure where are we going to put these let me get these out the box so i can see so i don't think there's no way we're going to fit these onto this because these are the same size as my arm if i could give you a reference almost from my hand to my elbow so no this ain't gonna work i'm gonna have to try something else I have an idea where I think I could mount these eights, but you think so? Way too big. You can't put these on this bike. Nah. Use it for a bolt. Even if you put them in the front, these will fly off with any type of speed. Tomorrow. So I brought the bike back to my overfill garage to finish off some stuff. Uh, we're going to do floorboards and uh, new handlebar grips. Uh, we're still waiting for the speakers to come in. Like I said, amp was already wired up. We're just waiting for the speakers and we're going to install these now. So first we're going to do these shell chrome hand grips. Uh, the black and then we're gonna do these floorboards which is uh, pretty easy all you need really is a um, set of Allen's 
and we're gonna get right to it. So let's do the hand grips first. Okay, it's out. And we gotta get these hand grips off, which we're just gonna slice those. We're just gonna slice these right off because we're not reusing these. These things were like, I don't know, glued on. I don't know if it was just the humidity or what. But let's do this now. Take these out. We have one is going to be wider because it's going to come with a new throttle. Um, so you just got to figure out which one is which. So the diameter is going to be different, so I'll take it out and show you. You can see, there's some light in there. Yeah, you can see which one is bigger. This one has got the bigger diameter, so that one's going to go on this side. Fits kind of snug, but got to use a little hand sanitizer. That's what works for me. Boom, slides right on. Let me get some hand sanitizer. Let's put a little hand sanitizer on that bad boy. So, you use a hand sanitizer because it's alcohol based. And it's gonna drip, slide on easy, but dry up fast. Look at that. Slide on nice and easy. Now, we're gonna put that back and then go do the other side. Okay, now we're gonna remove this instrument or cluster or whatever you wanna call it. We're gonna remove that so we can slide this whole piece out. So I won't bother you with the un. Uh, so it's going to be a 25 Torx head. Three screws are out. Separate and the whole throttle assembly should separate from here. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, we just got to work it. It's uh, lined up in there. So this one's going to come right out. You can keep it like this, just in case you want to put rubber hand grips back. And then we're going to get the new throttle assembly and line it up. So here we have it. And the new throttle assembly. Alright, remember when you're putting this back on, there's going to be... A little hole cut out in the bar and that's going to get you lined up so it's locked in place and this doesn't spin on you when you turn the throttle I didn't put it on because I'm gonna make sure this I'm gonna make sure this is the same direction as the other one so it looks even so I didn't put it on first so I'm gonna screw these back on slide these on and then just show you what it looks like when I'm done there's your hand grips. Black combat hand grips installed. So it looks like with these floorboards here, we are going to use the original hardware. Uh, looks like you're going to reuse the original hardware in these. So these have a aluminum with a rubber grip 
I don't know who makes these. These are from Sling Mods. And we're going to do that. Of course, you know the difference between right and left. It's because of, it will be one will be missing for the brake lever. So we're going to take this out with an Allen. And looks like we're going to reuse the same Allen bolt. bolt. Excuse me. So what's cool about these, you can adjust these too so you can adjust your pitch. So um, I don't know what the customer likes. So I'm just going to give it a one click pitch. So you loosen it up here and just give it one click up a little bit forward. And I guess the customer can adjust it the way he wants after. Like I said, you're going to remove and use the same bolt that holds the uh, stock pedals pegs in now we're going to install this windshield it's going to go to the front of this right here um we're going to attach the bracket this windshield slides up and down has a slight adjustment comes with the screws looks like allen and comes with uh comes with the screws they're allen heads and we're going to start the installation process the instructions are enclosed in the box so let's check it out all right so we're setting the windshield now do the bottom screws first it's easier so you got one side in now i'm gonna go take the screw and the allen bolt in the other side and set up the windshield and y'all see how that looks when I'm done. Just four screws, real simple. So, like I said, that side is in. Come around to the other side, lift it up. And that's it. Okay, we uh, bolted it in, screwed it in, whatever you want to call it. Let's remove the cellophane. I lifted the windshield up so you can get room to... Tighten the bolts, we should bring it down, lock it in. It's a little loose, the locking mechanism, but I guess it's supposed to be like that. There you go. Totally adjustable. Flip it down, bring it up, lock it in. It's locked tight. I don't know if it's tight, loose, or uneven, but it is what it is. Let's bring it down. Okay. That's it. Let's work on these floorboards. All right. So we finally got the right speakers in. I think these are eights. Yeah, these might be eights or tens. I'm not sure. These are eights. Yeah, eight inches. So we're gonna put these on. I already started the mounting process. What I'm gonna do is now I'm gonna start removing these and mount the other side. I'm not gonna go into the whole thing of wiring and setting up. You gotta follow the instructions, bridging, setting up the amp, but I'm gonna just show you basically how to set the speakers up where to drill where to put everything at so as soon as i mount the other speaker i'm gonna show you the wiring setup so i got the brackets on you see right here all i have to do now is drop a little loctite in there tighten them up everything's wired and i'm just gonna mount them and mount the speakers so this is what we're working with right now. I'm still, I got the music set up. Everything's hooked up, lights. It's looking good. We late in the night, tune in the sounds. You're gonna be in my YouTube video. Happy customer, baby. <laughs> Finish right
like a doctor, full customization. Gonna be back for more. Rod safe, everybody. Rod safe.